The Uri Otters program has been a bit of a pipeline in recent years for the men's hockey team. Players like Owen Hedrick, Kyle Maximovich, and Troy Lajeunesse all made their way to UPEI following their careers in Erie. This edition of the Panthers counts no less than four former Otters on its roster. Today we sit down with two of them, Kingston, Ontario's Cam Morton, and from Sharon, Ontario, Noah Sador. Noah Sador, this isn't the first time we've done this, but welcome back. Thank you for Cam, having me. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming on. Yeah, appreciate it. So, boys, I want to uh, start by addressing the elephant in the room, which was the uh, eight nothing drubbing Saturday night here at the hands of the defending national champs, UNB Reds. Um, let's call it what it was. It was a smackdown um, and a very dominant performance, but. I, before I get into that, I just want to give you a little bit of context, or the viewers a little bit of context. This is a team that gives up 14 shots a game on average. It takes about 45 shots a game on average. Gives up about 1.2 goals a game, scores about 5.3 goals a game. So clearly this is a team defending national champs that are on a roll. They come in here and they lay a licking on you. Let's call it what it was. But if you think about that, what does that kind of do for the team? Uh, and how does maybe the team respond from that and uh, maybe learn from it and use it to, to make the team better? No, well, maybe you experienced it firsthand. You're up top again, <laughs> so we'll get the two different perspectives yeah. maybe. No, yeah, I agree. I mean, obviously, like, motions are running high in the game and after and stuff like that, and obviously it's, it's pretty frustrating. I mean, just to, as a team game, we just didn't, didn't meet the standard, didn't play well, didn't do what we had to do, but I think after it, I mean, you kind of start to move on, look back at it. Like, there's definitely a lot to learn from. Like you said, they're national defending champs, so you can't, can't take them away from you, give them credit. They're a really good team, but I think the biggest thing for us as, as a team is just taking away the right things from it, right? Like knowing that those guys are the standard. They're like where yeah. where you need to be to be the best, right? So right. I think just being able to learn from it is something that's uh, important that I've kind of tried to learn over the years and hopefully we can do that for the next time we uh, face off against them. Is there a lot of debrief going on with the game? Yeah, a little bit. I think, uh, I think between what Forby had to said, and I mean, mm -hmm. I think some guys just kind of Thinking on themselves, like looking at the looking at the stats, watching video after stuff yeah. like that. Like I think it's just yeah, a little bit of debriefing, like see see what you can learn. And I mean the the good thing is we got them at least three more times, so yeah. we we know what to expect. Yeah. It's not going to be easy, and we just gotta sure. learn from it, take it to the next one. And this year is a process, right? It's it's learning and it's getting better all the time. Cam, what you see from up top? It's definitely a struggle to watch. <laughs> I mean. Uh, Glad you not there. being able to play, yeah. it's tough to see something like that, especially when you feel like you can have an impact in that sort of right. sense, especially with the style that I play yep. <clears throat> defensively. But I feel like um, the way that they executed was just hands down the best I've seen out of youth sports. Uh, I mean, I grew up watching Queens play, and right. you don't you don't see much like that at youth, the youth sport level. And mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's a good thing for us to see because that night we didn't execute really much at all. I mean, one shot through the first period, three through the first 30. Sure. I think it's uh, a good learning curve for us and it sets the bar high for what we need to be. And as a young team, I feel like we need to set the standard this year mm -hmm. and then in the next two to three years, be at that level. Right. I mean, there's no excuse for us not to be. We're a young team and by that age, we'll all be a big group together, I think that we can, you know, make a lot of noise at that point. But I mean that's no excuse at this point either to be outshot forty seven to seven. Yeah. I mean we had a, they had a hard practice yesterday. <laughs> I rode the bike while they they, uh, they battled hard and hopefully we can turn it around on Wednesday. And, um, 
I, to your point earlier about now, uh, I've been watching this program forever, and I've never seen a performance like that in all my time of watching. So you were a part of history, boys, and, was, and it, maybe not the way you want to, but hey, listen, yeah. I like what you said. Now we turn the page, move on, learn from it, and and go on. Maybe Cam, if you could speak for a minute, how is your injury? Uh, I know you got. Uh, uh, we'll call it an upper body injury. Uh, yeah. Um, how? What? What? What are things looking like? Uh, so I, against Saint FX, I uh, kind of skated as hard as I could at a guy and hit him. I mean, we got pretty solid glass here. Not very used to it. Yeah. Playing uh, major junior, but uh, they have that flexy stuff, don't they? Yeah, we have that pro glass that I think they have it at the East Link Center they do, here. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, felt some pain in my upper body. It, it was pain that I felt before, but it was a little, felt a little different. Yeah. I've had this similar injury about five or six times in the last two years. Yeah. I tried to play another shift because I like to push through things a little too much, <laughs> much to the dislike of my parents and <laughs> uh, medical staff. But uh, yeah. I tried one more shift. It didn't feel right at all. Got off the ice, talked to our um, medical staff here. Right. They told me to go get an x-ray that night. I experienced pain that was not normal for this the n injury that I'd usually get. Yeah. Went and got an x-ray. Looked a lot more major than usual. Uh, went and saw the doctor. Got even worse news than what we were expecting. Okay. So I have an x-ray again in two weeks. From there, we'll go by what the next step is. Safe to say we're not going to be seeing 29 back in the lineup anytime soon. Hopefully by after Christmas. Okay, That's the goal. Good. All That's right. the goal. All right. Got to got to keep her positive. Yeah. So boys, you guys came from. I alluded in the first part that uh, you're uh, two of four. Uh, you two, and of course Curtis Henry and uh, Elias Cohen, all played for the Erie Otters program in the OHL, um, and that's been a pretty good little feeder system for the men's hockey team over over the past few years with uh, guys that have come here. Um, when you think about that, did that have any? Were you guys kind of a? a, a were you guys kind of designed to go to the same place? Were you thinking about going to the same place? Or how is it that the three of you ended up here at UPI? Was it a part of a plan or did it just kind of unfold that way? I think it was mostly just kind of kind of like unfold that way. I know like me and Morty last year kind of throughout the season, we'd like talk a little bit and mention like, oh, like maybe this is our plan for next year. Like what are you thinking? Kind of this and that. but. Mm -hmm. Like you said, I mean, kind of, I, I know for me personally, I mean, having just some of the guys that went through Erie's program, then came through right. here, such a good program. Like I've heard so, so many great things, even from the staff, stuff like that in Erie, like mm -hmm. UP, I kind of just caught my attention, just everything that I've heard over yeah. the years from those guys. And, and yeah, I don't, I wouldn't say we per se planned it. I mean, it was kind of, we mentioned it here and there, but nothing concrete until we kind of of course you guys still on. really aren't thinking about college hockey last year you're still oh, thinking yeah you're, you're still kinda, thinking right? pro right you're thinking like you're, you're kind of in the middle right yeah. i mean you obviously want yeah. that but you you got to look at gotta some other options yeah. as well right so i think yeah. it was kind of more along that along the lines of that sure yeah yeah i mean uh growing up uh in kingston i mean queens was always the where i thought i was going to end up especially when okay. i got into major junior after if I didn't get the pro option, I mean, my grandmother always wanted me to go there. She worked there. Oh, okay. God, sadly, she passed away, but oh, uh, sorry to hear that. it's all good. But after that, I mean, Kurt called me up and he said, "You got to come here. I mean, this is the best league you can play in new sports. We got a good, good thing going here at PEI. We got a big turnover coming." And I mean, I went and played in the East Coast League for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, had some talks with Providence. Yeah. Didn't get the deal I wanted and uh, decided to come here. I'm a big Bruin fan, so uh, I would have liked to see you down in Providence too. Uh, should have told him to give me a better deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll but, work uh, on that for next year. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm happy that I got to end, <laughs> yeah, happy I got to end up here because I mean it's a great place to be. Great island, definitely my kind of atmosphere. Small yeah, town, good stuff, vibes, and good uh, stuff. I like the 
like the way the crowd comes and you get yes. you get a big crowd here. You don't see that much in youth sport hockey. So That's right. Especially in Ontario, you don't see it. And that. you know, it's interesting, Cam, you mentioned, because there's not a lot of guys that are watch college hockey growing up, and you were a bit of an exception in that regard. Yeah, my grandmother was working at the cafeteria at Queen. She became close with a lot of the football players oh, and okay. hockey players. Uh, Jane Lindo, who was a Pittsburgh Penguins pick and now works in management there, she became very close with him. So I would go watch games with her to watch him. and. Uh, Mm-hmm. They uh, went and watched them win uh, used, uh, the OUA championship the one year, which Queen's Cup. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that I got to watch a lot of that. I mean, Frontenacs are never very good. They don't very good. <laughs> they're never very good. So I thought yeah. I'd go watch some better hockey. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. So Noah, you're uh, you're a pretty competitive golfer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. PEI has some pretty good golf courses, and we run into one another a fair amount out of Belvedere this year. And yeah. uh, I know there's other golfers in the team. Ben McFarland's a big golfer, and Cappy, Jonah Capriati is yeah. a big golfer, and Joe Ranger's a pretty big golfer, too. Yeah. So I want to ask you a question. If you guys got together, hypothetical match, yeah. goalies against forward. Yeah. Who should I be putting my money on? Am I going with the scorers or am I going with the defenders? Um, this the is a big match, question. It, it could this have, is on video. Could have already happened. I don't. There's been a lot of matches oh, here. Okay. But, uh, I would. I would like to say me and Benny. Uh, without a doubt, I think you'd want to put your money on us. Okay. But you never know. Could have an off day. But I know me and Benny. We've been together in a lot of matches since we've been here. Good chemistry. And when one of us is slacking a bit, the other one seems to pick it up. So right I don't know. That's kind of been the common trend uh, against almost. Okay, well, let me played, ask you another but question. They, they two, would put up a good fight. I there's think. There's two former riders that play a lot at Belvedere: Troy Lazarus and Kyle Maximovich. Yep. Otter and Storm against two otters. Who's coming out on top in that? One? Cool. That one could be close. We actually we did play them in a two v two match play uh, when we first got here, yeah. and me and Benny took that. But I will say because I don't want to be getting too much heat. Lash <laughs> Lash had an off day that day, oh, okay. and after that, I think he he beat me pretty much every time we played. He and then did. he got back on a little hot streak. But we only went two v two once, and me and Benny did beat them so good stuff yeah we'll see of course, but it could go anyway he's over in scotland this year playing He'll yeah be playing i don't think he stopped so i hot. i'll need a couple strokes <laughs> when i get that when he gets back if i'm here still so good stuff so cam you mentioned about you're from kingston uh, i i we, we were I, I came to learn that you're a bit of a music guy too and you had the opportunity to see the hip of course the tra- tragically hip from kingston area you were a 13 or 14 year old kid out in the square for that final concert. Yeah, sadly. Was that like? It was pretty cool. I mean, my first ever concert was a hip concert. I was about four or five. My parents oh, really? took me, yeah. Kept that a secret from my sister until <laughs> I went. Uh, but it was, uh, it was an exciting thing. I mean, growing up listening to hip, having that big of a band from Kingston, it was very cool. Mm. Parents bought four tickets for it, sadly sold mine and my sister's. I mean, oh, they could have just sold no. my sister's, but Jeez. sold mine too. Cool. And uh, so I ended up going with a few of my friends and their parents to the square watching it there. Nice. I mean, I don't think I've seen downtown Kingston that packed before, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, just getting to experience that. Nice. And then uh, my best friend, he's his family friends with uh, Paul Langwa now, one of the guitarists from the hip, and nice. his dad now joined his band, the Paul Langwa band. So cool. it's a pretty cool connection there. Neat, neat. Well, boys, listen, thanks for coming on. Uh, you know, a big game this week, Wednesday against uh, St. Mary's. Uh, you know, regroup. I like what you were saying, Noah and Cam. Hope you get that big body back onto the back end here before long. And uh, good good luck with your healing process. Thank you. Hope so, too. Thanks Thanks for for having us. us.